Okay, boys and girls. Here's Joe. Joe, stand up. I love your shirt. You gotta see this. Pro. Awesome. Anyhow, so one of the things that we came across was we got all the carburetors back on the bike and everything and fired it up. It ran incredible. It ran amazing. But it was still dumping fuel all over the place. And you don't want to have that. Nobody gets paid enough to be running around like Ghost Rider. Isn't that what his name was? Yeah. yeah. Dude, flames, <clears throat> chains. Yeah. It's yeah. Ghost Rider. No. That's not how you want to ride. So, we're about to... Uh, Joe's going to start cracking into this. And uh, we're going to put some new O-rings in the fuel rail. Our primary issue is right here. I don't know how well you can see in there. But we are absolutely dumping fuel. And that's not a good thing. So Joe, I'm gonna since I broke his camera mount, I'm gonna hold the camera for him so he can work on mm. the fuel rail. Yeah. Do you have anything to say to the camera? To the peoples? All we like is finishing up. Oh, now I don't have to throw scripture on the end of the video. Yep. I'm trying to get it all. There she is. Give him time to read. Jesus. Somebody fill up head. <laughs> mm. On the very bottom. Boss here. Beaks of beauty. <clears throat> Give a shout out to Craftsman for not sending a 10 millimeter with the package. What were they thinking? Can't fix stupid. I mean, it's a really nice set. Yeah, really nice set. Why would you not have a 10 millimeter? The wrenches go from uh, 11 to 17, and then you got your midgets. The itty bitty baby guys. So, Joe just took a screw out. Set that. You mount the uh, throttle cables into. Go, Joe! Got this choke rail. Yeah. So guys, we just uh, would like any support that y'all might be able to give to the channel. Um, Joe's got a channel, Joe Lanham, L A N H A M. He's got some funny stuff going on there. He, uh, he picked up a snake along the way, so there's a snake over there. Um, I'm still waiting to get some downloads from his site, or from, uh, from his phone on the RAM. We're going to have to put those up. We do have some uh, new cameras coming in, new mounts and everything, so... We got tires sitting in a shop waiting, and uh, we're going to do a uh, video on that ram on how to turn off all the traction control, <clears throat> the pros and cons of doing so. <clears throat> I think we're going to have to do a farewell video on the, for the tires for the, uh, for the Magna as well. Oh, yeah? Eventually, that back tire is done. Not too far off of being wore out, so later down the road, I'm gonna have to order a back tire and have a good old-fashioned farewell to that back one <clears throat> and the breaking in of a new one. Mm. 
these are different size bolts that just came out. The long bolt goes in the center. Snap ring. Yes. She's got to come out. I don't know if she can get a good shot of that. Yeah, good enough. <clears throat> so, give her some motivation to get out of there. That's all we need sometimes is a little motivation. You ever seen a grown man cry? Charles is about at that point. He's missing riding. So we're trying to get this knocked out and taken care of for him. And uh, I'd personally like to give a, a thank you to Joe and Charles both uh, for serving our country. Joe, what were you? Where were you? I was in the Marine Corps. And Charles was a Navy baby. Yes. What did Charles say? He spent 30 years plus? Yeah. He was, he was in there for a minute. So I'd like to thank both of them for serving our country. And then coming to Christ. Okay, you pulled out here. Yeah, it's this one on the bottom where I pulled that snap ring off. She ain't came off yet. Well, do be careful up here. You might want to take a look at this one. You're out here, but you're not out here. Yeah. I don't know how much tension and torque those things can handle. It's just got down here. Oh, where this spring is located. This thing needs a bath. Bad. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is I'm just trying to pull it off from right here, but I'm thinking that it's not. Alright. <clears throat> so we skipped forward a little bit. There's a couple steps that we had to take. Um, we're replacing the O-rings and the fuel rail. Um, so we had to take take it apart and get it off one side, but if you can look, there's a bunch of old corn mastiness on, on those where with the kit that we bought, we've got brand new ones. So we got the inside of it, uh, inside of it cleaned up. You know, this bike was sitting for a while. You know, it was quite dirty on the inside, but we got it back to back to brand used um the problem with these is it's it's common when you rebuild these carburetors um, and not replace these o-rings again they get shifted around and broke free that they're they're going to leak so um there's a bunch of little springs and stuff that we have right here um that we'll be using, you know, we're gonna finish up the rest of this kit. We're just not gonna be using any of these, uh, any of the fittings in there. So we've got several little rings left that we need to replace in here. We're about to get on that. <clears throat> and um, there is a cotter pin. Just, it's about the size of the teeniest, tiniest violin in the world, playing the saddest, saddest song, except this is a cotter pin. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it connects with the uh, with the other four carburetors 
<clears throat> so when it when you hit throttle, all four of them in sync. Bye bye bye. Wide open crack down the road. So we have to pop that cotter pin off. I want to do it one at a time so we don't lose anything you caught at, didn't you? <laughs> so, uh, what I'm about to do is uh, I'm going to put this back together the way that I found it and we're going to work on we're going to work on the next set of O-rings down over here this, this side's going to have to come pop out um, which entails me taking off this side which you know we're halfway there all we like is finishing up so once this side comes off we'll pop out these two O-rings clean all that nasty good stuff out of it I mean, we still need to clean these carburetors you know they still got some trash inside of them you know we don't want that get going through the fuel system um, well like I said it's uh it's just a slow process I mean, we can do it here in about 20 30 minutes if we want to but paying attention to detail do it right the first time so you don't have to come back a second you want to snap that second one off <clears throat> so it's on camera so the second one, it's, it's halfway there already. We've got to uh, pull this other side off over here. We're going to unscrew that. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some sound effects to help Joe stay motivated. That's my torque spec. Three rat tat tats on the impact. And I've got a bad habit of losing screws and washers and everything, so when I pull this off, I'm gonna put everything back on so I don't lose my stuff. Cause I lose my head, it wasn't attached. Old Oh, you broke it! Just kidding. I'm telling you. <laughs> you said I know want to. Sometimes I just don't want to. So, do you know anything about being stubborn? Nope, never been stubborn a day in my life. Never. Not one time. That's my mama. If not my mama, relatives. There she goes. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, the removal of this adjustment screw is necessary for this to come apart. process of pulling these carburetors apart. Oh, we had a visitor, but she left. She left. Yeah, you can tell, see that one shot. Kind of hard to 
tell, but it's there. on that so maybe I can zoom in in the editing process yeah. I'll tell you that uh, there was no way though so you get to play the game of where's the o-ring at If y'all can see the mm. might have to pull out my other camera for macro. Right. Boy. Look at that ethanol build up on that joker. So in preventative maintenance, procrastination is your enemy. Yeah. My favorite motto is drive it till it sounds expensive. Not very good motto. Because it'll run all the way up until it don't. Every time. Uh, I'm sorry that the video, it's hard to detect and cl see, see clearly. Uh, as well as we're able to here, but I assure you that these O-rings that are coming off, they are in bad condition. However, I'm willing to bet that this has never been done on this bike before. It's a 97 model, so we are in the year 2020. They had a long run. on motorcycles and uh, carburetors off of bikes right now um, but uh, you have no rings to continue on these babies baby L rings yeah um, but just in case anybody viewing this is uh, interested we're about to uh, have a gun safety video uploaded soon. Um, it may actually beat this video. So as I was saying, soon we will have a gun safety video uh, put together and put up on the uh, YouTube. We'd appreciate any uh, support with that as well. Um, we are trying to set up all the connections and everything to have that taken care of. Uh, but we're doing a gun safety video as a precursor to... Putting guns and stuff like that on the channel. Um, 
you're interested in what we have going on, please subscribe if you hit the little bell. That'll give you a notification uh, whenever we do upload a new video, or I believe it'll actually notify you if you uh, if we go live as well. But we're planning on doing a comparison in the future of uh, binary explosive targets. And we're going to be doing a comparison between two of the competitors in that field. And uh, we're hoping that uh, that's uh, a ton of fun. And we're pretty excited about the rest of the shipments coming in. We're going to be uh, going to be out having fun. And uh, we hope uh, you guys stop in to see that so we can uh, support us on that as well. <coughs> the amount of fumes in this garage are starting to affect me, I do believe. It's amazing. It's amazing? It's amazing. Amazing. And just so you know, we are doing this in... Uh, in the safety and comfort of the ministry garage. Yeah. Uh, this is typically the smoking area, but we are, we do have the door wide open. So we are trying to uh, make sure that we don't suffer from uh, too much fumage in the air huh? affecting our oxygen levels. We may have to give a uh, good old fire marshal Bill a call so he can make sure we're doing everything safely. your head if it wasn't attached as we we're slowly putting this back together we got to keep them separated Let's see the fun part of this assembly is making sure that they all go back exactly the way they came apart <clears throat> so, this is the uh, fun opportunity, and I get the. Thankfully, I have a cheat sheet because I ride the same bike. As in, as it goes for the carburetors, there's nothing different between the 97 model and the 2003, which was the last year that they made these bikes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <clears throat> you gotta shift. Just clean it up a little bit. Anybody would like to donate a V Max? We would love to have the opportunity to, get to work on one of those and afterwards play. We we accept donations. Yes. Most definitely, just to get something running. <clears throat> just like that little uh, ADCC sitting out there. <clears throat> a little Yamaha Moto Four is gonna be something to play with in the next couple months nothing spectacular just a fun toy you have to put that on before you slide it on yeah because it just wants to be fun it's like girls you know they just want to have fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody just got that song stuck in their head. Now the 
other side of it, you still have this sitting back here too, so. Compared size. Oh boy. And it's on. So, when reassembling the entire carburetor pack, this bar, this framing bar, has to be put on at the same time as this carburetor so that it can slide together all in one piece because it has to be behind the throttle uh. there's a little bit of a groove up underneath there it's it's approximately here on the other side and that is not going to go on unless you slide the carburetor in just a hair before. Uh, you actually have to have this in place right here on the carburetor as it goes on to this mainstay pole so that you can slide it down and get it to fit. line up same time make sure your o-ring slide inside there this one gets tightened down everything locks in place so make sure everything is appropriately seated This is definitely an opportunity for a second set of hands to be extremely helpful. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> and from my experience working on these carburetors, everything is relatively simple until you come to the part where you actually break the carburetor pack open like we have on this one if you can uh, you can pretty much work on any part of the carburetor except for the o-rings for fueling and the fuel rails and whatnot relatively easily and i'll say that we're probably going to want to throw those springs in that throttle piece over there mm -hmm. in this set Joe, what would be the best advice for somebody trying to do this project? This specifically right here. Um, Take 
detailed notes and pictures? A lot of notes, a lot of pictures. Um, you can never have too many notes. You can never take too many pictures. Uh, I wish I would have took more notes. And I wish I would have took more pictures. But, you know, it's all one process. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to come up. So let me start. the right height. Here she is. Was doing or what we did to know all, where all the carburetors came from we kept them separated you know left front right front left rear right rear or however you want to label it driver's side passenger side but they all come off one way they all go back on the same way down goes in here to this piece this one's only this one's just it's not gas so as much as we seem to like gas here we do not underestimate the need for oxygen. No, that's how you make fire. Fire! 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 <laughs> It's the same size. Just gotta twist it. 
request it to the appropriate you see this one's even got the same it's got to have that curve in it mm -hmm. <clears throat> I I did have the camera in my mouth. I'm gonna have to shave this down. Yeah? Yeah, it's just not gonna work too much. Sorry about that guys. Uh. 